Hi guys, my name is Aditya and you're watching Behind the Scenes. And in today's video, I'll be telling you guys how I got a once in a lifetime opportunity to make the retirement video for Patrice Evra. So back in July of 2019, I got an Instagram DM from someone. Now this someone doesn't want to be named, so we're going to respect his privacy. And for that reason, we're going to call him Mr. X. So Mr. X sends me a DM and he says that he's friends with loads of United players, one of them being Patrice, and that he had shown my Patrice Evra tribute video to Patrice and he wanted to do a retirement video with me. Now of course I was super excited when I first saw this message and I instantly replied saying that this sounds super interesting and I would love to take this forward. From there Mr. X gave me Patrice's mobile number for me to contact him. Patrice replied back telling me what his vision for the video was. He also told me there would be no limits to the video. It could be as long as I wanted it to be. There were no limitations on music either. The deadline for the video would be 30th or 31st of July depending on when he announces his retirement. Now that deadline was going to be a problem because I had already made plans uh, for a small family vacation and I was going to be out of town on the 29th and 30th of July. So basically it meant that I had to finish the video by 26th or 27th, keep a couple of days of buffer so that if there is any changes required it can be done and I would finish the project before that. So the next day I got down to it and I started the edit. Now I already had a lot of footage of Petris playing for United but I had no footage of any other team. So the first thing that I did was go to the YouTube channel of all the other teams that Patrice had played for. So the French national team, West Ham, Juventus, Monaco, Marseille and I downloaded all the clips of Patrice that I could find. Next I went through as many interviews that I could find of Patrice. Uh, one of them being AB Talks with Patrice Evra. By the way this was an incredible interview and if you guys want to watch it there will be a link in the description. So this interview basically became the base of the video because now I knew how I would start the video and how I would end it as well. The last thing that I did in terms of footage was I went to Patrice's uh, Instagram page. I think it's fair to say that we all knew that Patrice had a very funny side to him but uh, since he's opened up his Instagram page he's taken it to the next level. He's just crossed 7 million followers on there. He posted a video about it which was again made by me so if you haven't seen that video as well there'll be a link in the description. Now that I had enough footage to work with, I started the edit and pretty much went at it for the next 6-7 to seven days. On the weekdays, I would get less time to make the edit as I have a full-time job as well. So by the time I would come home, I would be pretty knackered to work on it but I would still sit and work for at least a couple of hours and do the heavy lifting of the edit on the weekends. By 28th of July, I had completed the edit, so I uploaded the video on YouTube, sent the link to Patrice and I waited for his reply. He instantly replied in 5 minutes and this was the audio message that he sent. Yes, my man, uh, because I'm just having a meeting, but I will watch it tonight, nice and quiet, thank you very much. I just saw the, the first 10 seconds, I was already smiling. So, I will look at it uh, later and I will let you know what I think. Thank you again. You know, I've been doing this for 15 years now, making videos about United. And in that moment, you feel like all the hours that you've spent while editing over the years, it's all worth it for a moment like this. Later that evening, he saw the whole video and he was super happy about it. It was everything that he had hoped for and it made him really happy. And hearing that, it made me really happy. Now, fast forward two days, it's 29th of July, uh, the day I was supposed to go out of town. I'm sitting in my hotel room and I get a message from Petrice. He said that he had to make the announcement in the next one hour. Now as an editor, you always have to prepare yourself for a worst case scenario. In this case, before heading out of town, I had already uploaded the video on Google Drive and on WeTransfer. So I sent his team the links to download the video. Patrice also wanted the video on his WhatsApp as well as a lower quality version. Maybe he wanted to forward it to his friends and family. So there I was sitting in a hotel room using the hotspot from my mobile and uploading the video and sending it to Patrice on his WhatsApp. I also took a little bit of risk when I made this video and I put my name in the video. So if you see it at 40 seconds, it's written edited by Aditya Reds. Now Patrice had no idea that I was going to do that, but I still went ahead and did it because I think it's important to take risk and uh, it really paid off because Patrice had no problem with it. He was super happy about uh, having my name in the video. 
From there, Patrice even asked me what my Instagram account was because he was going to send my name to his team so that they could tag me in the video as well. In the next hour, he made the announcement for his retirement. He posted the video and he also tagged me on his social media accounts. And that's the whole story of how I got this awesome opportunity to work with Petri Sevra on his retirement video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this behind the scenes look at how I got a chance to work with Petri Sevra because I certainly loved it. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. If you guys have any question, feel free to ask them down in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer all of them. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Rocky Bell, yeah, I got to fight like Rocky Bell. Rocky Bell.